two rhinos this year only. Only in this year. That we know killed. that. Just in South Africa that we yeah. know about. Um, in the last three years leading up to now, we had over a thousand rhinos killed by poachers. Um, and, I mean, everyone's doing what they can, from private owners to the national parks to government. Um, it's just too valuable. If you can imagine a rhino walking around with a golden horn, and that's what they're after. They're after the horns. It's, it's, yeah, same thing. Oh, She's a beautiful example. Well, show of the it. one with the long golden horn. Those are, that's, that would equal a, a gaggle of uh, rhinos. A, a crash of rhinos. A crash, that's that's right. Big, crash bulky, crashing. And, and this is a golden horn. Look at that. No wonder they yeah. want that. Oh. And it's, it's worth seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars per kilogram at the moment. Um, so you're looking at that rhino, maybe three, four hundred thousand dollars for as one a, rhino. As a f aphrodisiac. That's aphrodisiac. Fever is a is a big oh. thing. It's it's considered to treat um, warm illness, illnesses, so cool down the temperature. Um, but in fact, it isn't worth anything. The the medicinal properties properties to it is, right. is pretty much zero. Right. Right. So yeah. what can we do to help the rhino? I think the biggest thing, everyone's doing what they can in terms of on Africa, so anti-poaching units, spending money on security, um, trying to stop this, And but the biggest problem is the understanding of Education. it. Education. That's it. And you need to go to where the problem is, which is mainly now Vietnam. And it's not everywhere. Uh, there are people out there that are shocked seeing this in it, uh, of the Asians, but there's a group of people that use this and um, medicinally and believe it's a cultural thing. So you have to get rid of a mindset that's been fixed there for two or three thousand years that this is worth something. And you need to change that. And that's the only way. Otherwise, you have to curb that demand. If you don't do that, um, you know, you, you might stop it in, in Africa, but the people still want it. So you need to stop that demand and get down to the root of it. How long have you been buying this? I've been buying it for seven years. For yeah. seven years, he's 28 years old and very, very yeah. knowledgeable about all of this wonderful African wildlife and, and ways to uh, prevent it from uh, becoming extinct, uh, keeping it for, for our children, our Absolutely. grandchildren, Absolutely. and the future. And Marlon, um, if anybody wants to reach you, where should they where should they look? Well, I'm on Twitter, uh -huh. and uh, so that's probably the best way to follow me on there. Um, and, and as well, and if they want you to guide a, a safari for them, through St. Gita. And uh, so, so, yeah, so the, the company that I'm based with, they do a fantastic job in Africa. And St. Um, means? It means miracle. So mm -hmm. you come there, I promise you, you'll experience exactly that. No, you do. And, um, yeah, so just through St. Gita and, and visiting the properties there. Well, I can't wait there. for my next safari. And uh, thank you very much for being here. This thank is you so much. Wonderful to have you. We'll be right back.